We observe three types of decay in this demonstration, alpha, gamma, and beta decay. Alpha decay is shown by alpha mounds, which are bumpy and wavy. Gamma decay is shown by straight and long lines, uh, called gamma lines, and beta decay are beta squiggles, short squiggly lines. It took about 35 minutes for the chamber to build up a supersaturated vapor and we could observe cloud tracks. First we added cesium-137 and also an electric current which increased the beta decays and alpha decays. It was our first instance of a long giant tube from alpha decay. We also saw slow prolonged waves occasionally and from the side view they looked like mountains and sometimes like a sea serpent. We removed cesium and then we added cobalt-60. Uh, it made more thick, short arches and it's alpha decay for slow waveforms. There were still lots of beta and gamma waves and gamma waves often crossed each other. We removed cobalt-60 and added barium-133. We saw an increase of low energy beta squiggles. Alpha decay formed slow tubes. They were almost hollow in the middle and thick, straight like gamma rays, but not as long. We also observed a ring formation from alpha decay. We added sodium after removing barium-133. We saw a higher frequency of low energy gamma rays. Uh, we noted that the different radioactive particles are not very distinct from each other. However, when we took off all radioactive particles, there was an almost instantaneous decrease in all radiation types. Some gamma and beta remain, but alpha is pretty much gone. Removing the electrical current also decreased activity. Next we added the foil. We had to take off the cover of the chamber for this, which increased chamber temperature and created less activity due to less supersaturated vapor for cloud formation. We also had to refill ice at this time to bring the temperature back down within the chamber. The foil may have lowered the radiation level, but could still be side effects of opening the chamber initially. Overall did not see a drastic change. Next, we conducted an experiment with a magnet. We added sodium radiation and an electric current. Theoretically, magnetic fields should curve positive and negatively charged particles in opposite directions according to Lorentz force laws. Okay, there is now a magnet on the right side. With the magnet on the right side of the chamber, we saw more horizontals and significantly fewer verticals. The vertical lines that we did observe appeared to curve. The affected particles appeared to be electrons from beta radiation. When we placed the magnet at the top of the screen, we saw more verticals and reduced horizontals. The horizontal lines appeared to curve again, and this was also beta radiation. <laughs> 